Okay, so here's an example um, using the fundamental theorem of calculus where, in this case, we're given the function. We're given the function, we're given parameterization for the curve, and somebody says, all right, um, you know this function, you know this curve, I want to know what is the integral along C of the gradient of F, all right? So fundamental theorem of calculus says that this should be Right, if we believe the fundamental theorem, it should be f at r of, oops, sorry, f at r of 1. Minus f at r of 0, where we take this whole business here as our definition of r of t. Okay, so that's actually really easy, right? All we have to do is plug in, let's see. So first we plug in t, and then we're gonna have to plug things into f. So first we say, okay, so t is equal to one, we get uh, three, three, and two. t is equal to zero, we get zero, four, one, okay? So that's uh, 3 squared times 3 plus 3 times 3 times 2, okay, minus, well, 0 squared times 4 plus 0 times 4 times 1. Okay, well that part's just 0. This part is, is going to be, what, uh, 45? So 45 is our answer. Okay, that's not so bad, right? Uh, of course, it's never going to be so easy, right? You're not going to just be given the function. Generally, what you're going to be given, and we'll do some examples right away like this, uh, you'll be given a vector field that may or may not be a gradient. You're going to have to decide if it's a gradient. If it is a gradient, figure out what function it comes from, then use that function to evaluate the integral, right? It's just like when you do, when you're doing integration in Calc 1 or Calc 2, right? Um, you're never told integrate h prime of t for this function h. That never happens, right? That's too easy. No, you're told integrate this function and, and you've got to sit down and figure out an antiderivative, right? So basically what you're doing here is you're going to be given a gradient, uh, or so you're given a vector field, right? Now, not all vector fields are gradients, so not all vector fields are, are going to have antiderivatives in the sense that we have in Calc 1, right? In Calc 1, every continuous function in principle has an antiderivative via the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Um, but not every vector field is a gradient, so not every vector field is going to come from a potential function like this that we could use to evaluate the integral. Um, so of course, if we want to make sure that the fundamental theorem works, we could evaluate this in more than one way. The other way we could do this, and I don't think I'll go through all the details here, but we could also say, um, we could also say, hey, uh, I know what the gradient is, the gradient of f. It's going to be 2xy plus yz, and then it's going to be x squared plus xz, and then it's going to be xy, right? There's my gradient. Um, I could calculate the gradient at x equals 3t squared, y equals 4 minus t, z is equal to 1 plus t cubed. I can plug those values in. Um, this is going to get really gross really fast, but in principle we could do it. Um, so let's see. So x times y is going to be 12t squared minus 3t cubed. We're doubling 24t squared minus 6t cubed. Uh, oh, we also have to add on that y times z. Uh, um, so 4 um, plus 4t cubed minus t minus uh, t to the 4. Oh, and that's only the x component, right? Now I've got to do the y component, x squared, um, 6t to the 4, 
x times z is going to be 3t squared plus 3t to the fifth. And then finally, we can do x times y here. And we're going to have, oh, well, actually, we've, we've done twice x times y. So now we'll just do x, y. That's, that's OK. We can, we can have that. Um, uh, 12t squared minus 3t cubed. Oh, well, that's really awful, but you can clean that up a little bit. Um, you can calculate our r prime of t. All right, so we can calculate our 6t minus 1, 3t squared. And I guess in principle, we could take the dot product of these two. We could integrate with t going from 0 to 1. We'd get our answer. Um, should equal to 45, right? Um, I don't think there's good entertainment value in, watch, in having you watch me uh, work through all the algebraic details here to set up the integral. Feel free to try this on your own, see if you can make it work. We're going to do a couple more examples that are a little bit more involved and hopefully a little bit more relevant. Um, so that'll be the, uh, the next one.